Hi there guys, it's Lee here. Welcome to I Mine Blocks. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to mine Pascal Coin on your Windows-based PC. So on the actual screen, you can see we have the actual Pascal Coin wallet, and we also have the miner running. So on this machine, I have two RX 470s, and they're getting roughly around about 450 mega hashes each. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you through the whole process step by step and um, show you how to get started mining with the Pascal Miner. So let me just close the uh, wallet and also the miner. I'm just going to do it on this machine as well to the uh, side of me just to try and uh, reduce the uh, fan noise um, a little bit in this office. So if you open up the actual browser, so you can see Pascal Coin has been going since uh, August 2016 and it's just been kind of uh, bumping along for the last couple of months, no real action on there. Um, but in the last few days, um, it was recently added to uh, Polonix and they really sort of uh, bumped up the actual price. So it's generated a lot more interest inside the actual coin itself. And um, it looks like it's got a bright future going forward. So that's um, why I'm sharing it with you. So the official site is pascalcoin.org. And from here we can download um, all the various bits and pieces that we need. So if you go to pascalcoin.org and then go to the uh, downloads option, it will take you to like a repository. Uh, so the first part that you want to download is the actual Pascal Coin wallet itself. So it says Pascal Coin wallet and the current version at the time of recording is 1.4.2. Um, so just select that and download it. I've actually already gone through and done that so I'll just let pick that up from my downloads folder. The other file that you want as well is this um, sorry I've kind of lost it now the other file is the actual miner. Um, let me go to the main uh, files option. Uh, yep there it is sorry. This uh, Pascal coin miner you want to download that as well as um, as before with the actual wallet I've already downloaded so just click and download and then go to your downloads uh, folder. So from your downloads folder you will have a pascalcoin.exe uh, file which is this Pascal Coin wallet uh, like say 1.4.2 exe and you just want to double click and run that. I'm just going to make sure I've got the actual uh, wallet closed which I have uh, just to show you through the actual uh, installation process. So we just double click on that and it will create a startup wizard so we accept the agreement, next, shortcut uh, on the desktop, next. And then we want to launch the Pascal wallet. Uh, so it's already checked and we want to press finish. So the wallet is going to start up and it's going to take a little while but it's going to get uh, synchronized. It won't take too long. The blockchain for the Pascal wallet is um, really quite small and it should synchronize uh, very quickly for you. So the next thing that we want to do is to um, set up our actual uh, wallet addresses or accounts um, that we're going to be used to mine in, into. Okay, so then what we want to do is if we go to uh, Project and then click on Private Keys, we want to generate a new key. So it asks for us for a name, so we just want to do Test, Test. I read somewhere that it's best to have a eight character uh, name when it comes to mining, so I'll come back to that in just a moment. Um, but I've gone with a eight character name, and then we've got the actual encryption type. Just select that as the default one, and click OK. So here we've got a new wallet test test. Um, we can close that now. Then if we go back to project, and go to options, it asks us for a miner name, and you want to change that to test test pretty much all the details you can leave um, as they are. Uh, where you've got this minor server private key, you can do it different ways, but I've got it set to always mine with this key, and then we're just gonna change that to the wallet that we just created. So test, test is the uh, the wallet address there. So basically we've got everything matched up. So the wallet name is test, test, and the minor name is also test, test. And then we click OK. So that is basically our wallet set up and ready to um, work with. So the actual miner is a solo miner, so what it, the miner is going to do is it's actually going to connect to this wallet and mine directly to the wallet. Once it finds blocks then we'll, we'll get rewarded for that. So next part is setting up the miner itself. So 
The miner that we downloaded is this Pascal Coin Miner, so we just right click and extract it to the same folder. Now you can see I've already done this uh, here, Pascal Coin Miner underscore uh, version 0.2. So we just open up that folder. Um, inside I've actually already created a star gpu.batch file and um, what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description so you can download this sample file for yourself um, to get started with. Um, but I'll show you um, exactly how to create this and um, how to get started with it. So what we want to do, I'll just open this just for a reference, but I'll show you how to create your own version. So you want to right click in the folder and then go to new and then you want to create a text document. Um, just call it start and then we're just going to open it, double click on it, open it with the notepad and then we're going to write out our batch file which is used to start the miner itself. Um, like I say, if you, um, it's not too complicated but I will include a uh, sample file for you to use as well. So So the first part is the actual uh, program name, so it's pascalcoinminer.exe. The next part is P, which is for platform. For most people, your uh, OpenCL platform will be zero. Then the next part is dash D. So this is the actual devices that you're going to be using. Uh, once again, for most people, it's probably just going to be device zero. So if you have multiple GPUs, you'll uh, comma it out. So it'll be device zero, the next device will be device one, the next device will be device two, etc. Um, in this machine, I have two devices. So it's just zero, comma, one for the, both devices there. The next part is S. Um, after this line, you would actually put your um, wallet address, um, the actual IP number. So if you use uh, mining from a separate machine to this machine, you might do like 192.168.1.75 uh, or whatever the IP address is. In this case, we can just leave it blank. We don't really need to use that because we're mining um, on the actual local machine. Um, the next part is N, which is for the name of the miner. and like I say, as before, we had it as test, test. So that's the whole uh, configuration for the actual, to start the actual miner itself. What we need to do now is save it as a batch file, not a notepad file. So we go to save as, and we'll do start, I'll just do test, test dot BAT, and then save as type, we want to change it to all files to make sure it gets saved as a batch file. And then we click save. Just close those notepads now. So you can see this is our new start-test-test batch file. So that's what we're going to be used to start the actual miner itself. So I will uh, double click on this now. Oh, actually one other thing, this might help you out. If, if you're creating batch files, if just on the second line or the bottom line, um, just add pools. Um, that way if the miner crashes, um, it will crash but it won't close the actual window so you can see what the error message was at least. Um, so that's just a, a useful little tip. Um, just to add there for you. So now we just uh, double click and start the uh, test test batch file. Oh, that must be a typo. Let me just double check that. Yep. Pascal Coy and Miner, missed the C there. Um, we'll just uh, try that again. Okay, making progress, now that we've fixed the uh, typo. Right, so at the top you can see it's mining using two devices, and then you, you've got a little bit more information further down. So you've got the miner values, it tells you the wallet name and the miner name, and then you can see here your device zero and device one, uh, like I say, as before, um, averaging about 450 mega hashes across the two uh, GPUs. One is actually running quite a lot faster than the other one. I'm not too sure uh, why that is could be clock speeds or just also the uh, power limit um, but that's not really important for this video it's uh, just to get you up and running with the actual miner so from here the actual uh, the actual miner program is going to connect to your wallet you can see miner clients one connected via the JSON RPC and then from here when you actually find blocks it will be allocated to your account uh, if you check check on this actual window, it shows you your uh, current sort of accounts and when you find blocks you'll get the block reward and then your accounts will uh, start showing up uh, within that space there once you uh, 
uh, select that checkbox there. Okay, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching. If you have any questions or comments, uh, don't hesitate to ask. I'll put all the links and everything that you need in the actual video description area. And um, that's it for this video. So see you in the next one. Take care.